to the home of the Black Titanic after Obama ordered the assassination of the leader of Gaddafi, many Africans were forced into slavery. So to escape, they took to the Mediterranean Sea where many died. This bears similarity to the black schools aboard the Titanic, but there was no lifeline. So many perished and was buried under the sea again. Welcome to the home of Black Titanic. No. That's not that. Pregnant? Who you gonna get pregnant by? Who else? <laughs> wow. You see how he, he, who are you gonna get pregnant by? He's still not acknowledging you. Arian, what's wrong with you? You don't know this. This man doesn't give you no kind of attention and supper in the bedroom. She said, who else? Who are you pregnant with? He don't want nobody to know that he's still banging her, y'all. He's still banging her. But he embarrassed about it. We already got a baby bag, so it is all we already know that. But he is embarrassed to say that this he's still banging this. Hey, this is Black Titanic. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. All right now, hit that like button. Listen, you guys, I'm still talking about Arian going off on Carlos. You guys know for a fact that every time it's a promo, a new promo, a new season, she gets upset. Now we're going into the 100th episode. She realized she still wasn't on the show. And what do she go? Oh, she done popped up with you know who? The fabulous Martell Hope. But Y'all remember Martel Hope come on and he opened up by saying, yes, just we did our promo and then there's drama surrounding behind it, but he brings Arian on live. We know with the history that Arian gets mad. She gets angry, but I found one right here. Let's just read what Arian says. I would never, I would never be on love and marriage, Huntsville, nor will my son. They are asked numerous times for him. The F. Carlos was just in Huntsville meeting with the cast yesterday. I was bought up. He said I was too disrespectful. So the word is out that you know, she was trying to get on the show, and that's what he said, that she was too disrespectful to be on his show. Laughing my A, y'all. Oh, this took me. Your show disgusts me for two years before I even said anything. I don't owe y'all, and I'm not kissing y'all ass. Oprah, your network is on some kind of BS. Lying on people for fake storylines. They told me never bring her up. Laugh out loud. Told me to never bring her up. Now who is the huh? Is it is it that woman? Is it is, is it the beloved male? The wife <laughs> or the ex-wife? But they said never to bring her up. Laugh out loud. The lies y'all told. Now, guess this. She said, the contract. Y'all finesse me into signing. I hate that for me. Whoa. Did she sign a contract? Whoa. Ariel, what did you sign? Always read. Read any kind of contract, Ariel, before you put your signature on it. But anyway, moving on along. These people are delusional. I stood up for myself because y'all lied and still lying, making fake stories up for views. Y'all can keep watching that clown. Shh, they playing y'all. It's reality TV. They will never tell the truth. 
only what sells the whole cast films coming along to make money. It's an easy job and they won't find. They got to discuss little me from Huntsville, she says. Nobody is that girl. And nobody was that girl enough to not use someone to be relevant. And never had. And she said, you know that girl. I'm that girl. So why hate on me? So she's right that to Carlos, you guys. Yeah. Okay, this is Candy. She's trying to explain to the fans about how uh, allegedly Tamika may not know about the check and how allegedly it's possible that her sister could have stolen her check. Before me and Tamika Scott made up, so it was before our first reality show, um, Escape Still Kicking It, this, this thievery that she's talking about. You and Rocky stole my money. Mama didn't say nothing. So basically what happened from allegedly happened. What allegedly happened. Um, There is a union or a, a company called Sound Exchange that developed in the 2000s um, that is for the benefit of helping artists get royalties for like airplay and stuff like that. For a long time, you know, everybody here is like, only the songwriters typically get paid when the songs are played on air. But Sound, is, Sound Exchange, when they developed as a company or a union of sorts, basically allowed, they made agreements with different, you know, I don't know, whoever the powers that be to make it so that they could collect some royalties for the artists who are like performance royalties. And so with that being said, it started in the 2000s after our group um, broke up, but they were able to collect royalties on our behalf going forward. Now, we all did not find out about Sound Exchange probably until they was open for a few years or whatever. And I remember Tiny's mom was the one who let us know about it. And uh, she signed us up, all right? Um, I think her and Tina, uh, it's another family friend of ours who helped us with our money and stuff. They basically let it be, let us know about it, signed us up for it. They signed me up for it. I, was, I didn't even know about it. I was like, oh, okay, so it was a little check coming in the mail. We all got our checks individually. Um, it did not come to a group. It just came to the individual members. I don't know how it works. If you're an artist and you got music out back in the day, make sure you sign up with Sound, Sound Exchange. They probably have money for you. Yeah, it's currently still happening. You guys should go on their website, soundexchange.com. Um, so with that being said, because I think they had some royalties they had added up because we were late signing up, you know what I mean? So it was like, you know, a chunk of change when we first signed up that each individual person was supposed to receive. What well, that means said, allegedly, Tamika says, and I'm not saying alleged because I don't believe it, I'm just saying alleged because, you know, I guess you can't really say that unless you were a part of the situation. At the time I wasn't around them, I was getting a second hand from Tiny Mom. So basically, during this time, it definitely was a time which me to needed her money. I was pregnant with our money. Escape was not performing. And my daughter Ocean was in college at the time. Well, not with all four members or whatever. We weren't doing the big tours at yet at that time. That was before we got back together. She definitely needed her money like she said. I told my mom and she was like, well, you don't know what she was going through at the time. Maybe she needed the money. She needed her money. Got it. Okay. I was told that allegedly someone I don't want to say no names, had Tamika's check going to their address. And that allegedly they were signing Tamika's name on the check and depositing the check. And because this was not a thing that, like, I didn't know about it either. The only reason why I knew about sound exchange is because Tiny's mom had signed it, signed it up, signed me up. And she, she had a stuff coming to my mom's house. So I wouldn't even have known about the checks either. So I can understand how Tamika didn't know about it. It was a new union situation. It was a new check, a new check that she wasn't expecting. None of us was expecting. Got it? Okay. Anyway, so allegedly when she got signed up, 
somebody put their address on it <laughs> and was depositing, signing it, and depositing her check in their account, allegedly, from what I was told. She found out about it later because Tiny Mom, which I believe, I did her mom, Mama Diane, she did me the same way. She was, baby, you getting your check? You know, you should have got a check by now because blah, 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 blah. So, um, Apparently, she did the same thing to Tamika. Tamika was like, I didn't get no check. What's she talking about? And that's when she reached out to find out what was happening. And according to Tamika, basically, they let her know the checks had already been deposited. Basically, the only way that she could find a way to get it back is if she would have pressed charges and filed, you know, an audit in order to get the money. Of course, she didn't want to do that to her sister, according to So, allegedly... That is what happens. So when people are like, well, how can somebody just take your shit? Or how can this? Sometimes, you know, we as a group, even like this is later on in life, we have to send our easy in together for certain things, you know, for performances that we are doing and they need our ID, a copy of ID or whatever. Or, you know, they, yes, they knew her social security number, stuff like that. Like they, they've been privy to mine. I got a black on my shit to let you know. <laughs> Yeah, so we were kind of privy to each other's information. And to be clear, if you watched uh, season one of Escape Still Kicking It, you know it was an issue. Like, I didn't want to have a company with them because I don't trust everybody. <laughs> Just saying. Allegedly, these things happened, but I wouldn't say that I was far from believing it. Not just because of what Tamika said, but also because Tiny's mom backed it up with the situation. So she has been 10 years of her having shady dealing and they just never act like it didn't happen. That ain't the only thing. There have been other things that have happened that were shady. Some things we don't talk about in the show or whatever. But there's been other shady dealings that have happened over the years that just never got dealt with. For whatever reason, our group we be knowing that stuff be shady and we there you have it uh she's trying to explain to y'all how it's possible that that check was cash y'all know uh it's supposed to be before them computers got real 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 popular it was easy to go uh take and just deposit a family member uh check on your account and they would cash it you know, they'll say, you know, you got to work a few days or seven days before the uh, money clear. So, yeah, I've done it before. Family have asked put uh, uh, asked me to be a third party on a check and I put it on my account. Yeah, it's possible, you guys. I believe Tamika. My soul got his big mouth. Oh, uh, just arguing with, with females. All the time he ran off at the mouth arguing with females. Y'all know what they say about men that like to argue with females. They cowards. Yeah, they like to pick on women's and bully women's. But anyway, he was upset supposedly because uh, they just not liking her style lately. Also, look, I don't know, her makeup Look, coughing, coughing, ready. The teacher get your new makeup artist, but uh, else she just she's just trying to lighter her skin or whatever. But this coming from Generation Viewpoint. Look at that promotional ad. Do y'all know that that picture I was looking at? Martel, he is staring so hard at uh. Melody, he's he's standing like in the back of Melody, right over her shoulder. And he's staring so hard at her. And I'm trying to figure out why is he keep staring at her. And I looked at Leticia. She on the other side of the shoulder. She didn't look too confident. Everybody else standing up there looking bold and confident in, in the way they're staying. Uh, Tisha looked at timid because oh, as there was a jealousy look over Mel, she did not want Mel up front and center. 
Y'all remember that other picture she wore, a yellow dress, so she could stand out from Mill. But they pushed her to the back, and I can tell she did not like being behind Mill. But anyway, this coming from Generational Viewpoint. Generation of Viewpoint, that's what it's coming from. Oh boy, this man. At one point, he even attacked somebody's kids, y'all. Yeah, it says, after I look at the picture of all y'all who got shit to say, this is Marceau. Oh, let me put, put it back, y'all. It went back too fast. Okay, this is Tisha posing. That's the dress they don't like. And, uh, Y'all see that yellow dress? I think she did that to stand out. After I look at the picture of all y'all who got something to say, I don't even have to respond. Y'all had a hard enough life as it is. Hashtag praying it up. Okay, so my soul is just budding to people coming. And then uh, Danny Love says, and I'm going to say it. Thanks to Melody for always being a trendsetter. I know now you all hate hearing the truth. This is exactly what everyone hates her for. Now look, my suit clap back and said, maybe you should understand it better if they said it. Yeah, okay, let's see. Right. So, yeah. If they said it in once. So, you know. Okay, and you haven't come yet, my soul. She always look uncomfortable. Talking about, uh, talking about, uh, his wife. You know, she should do. She, and, and you see that promo picture where she's standing behind Melody. She did not like that. I could tell she was uncomfortable with that. They put Melody up front and center as as they should since she wanted to produce. But that girl had a look on her face. Yeah, so these are just my soul button into talking to, uh, to these women. And uh, he need to stay out of his place. So uh, let's see what this say. My soul. I, this is Star Talk, Star Michelle, 26 talking about. So I ain't glad my husband of over 10 plus years thinks natural and not a face caked up with makeup is beautiful. And I still don't look uncomfortable. And it's an ace whooping to be exact. So they talk about her face. Yeah, it looks coffin ready, y'all. Maybe you will understand it better if they said it at once. But yeah. But you've been wearing them teeth for years, so so my soul said you look like you owe your mule and a ace whooping. Oh what wow, wow, that's a threat. My soul, that's a threat. You like your uncle Bernard now, you threaten these women's my soul. Keep it moving. Yeah, he's threatening these women. Her face is all caked up. Your husband settled and he's justified in cheating. My Sue said at Star, your husband settled and he's justified in cheating. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my soul. Tisha's too short for this look. It looks like a costume. Says the woman in a Grinch outfit, my soul. Uh, Laker says, well, Tisha have come a long way from season one, glowing up. Tisha got a fan. Um... Jay Jones says, no matter how Tisha tries, she misses the mark. Her look is not giving what it should. Her looks never gives. So Tisha gonna, Tisha gonna say this is colorism, but it's not. These people, uh, she's a beautiful girl, but they all that makeup to make you look lighter instead of make you look coffin ready, Tisha. So my suit said, that crease in your mustache is giving me lion. Yeah, my soul fussing with these women. There you have it. Now, I like her in that yellow dress. But she wore that yellow dress to stand out. Y'all see that, don't you? You got me up front and center, and she don't like it. Now, this is the picture where Cole Slow got upset. 
Cole's about upset over these pictures right here. When she comes, oh, she do look, y'all look nice. Yeah, Melody do look nice. She looks good. She's standing up there looking like a boss. And Tisha, you trying to be a boss, but you ain't.